Hello students how are you all hope you all are fine and spending the quality time with your family So students you know that in the last two videos we have discussed about the soil we have discussed the definition as well as different process and the factors responsible for soil formation Today we are going to learn what is the significance of soil as a natural resource that means why are we considering soil as a natural resource I hope you remember that what is resource again I am repeating resource is a object that is very much needful and useful to us so here soil is very much needful and essential for our life and as it is made naturally that's why we are considering it as a natural resource now let us discuss why we are giving that much of importance to soil so number 1 point we can see that soil is the most important renewable natural resource that means the soil can be produced naturally with the help of different factors by the time number 2 point most life that means animals plants birds most life on earth depends on soil as a direct or indirect source of food number 3 it is the medium of plant growth we know that each and every plant grow on the soil and it also supports different types of living organism living organisms like different kinds of worm like earthworm uh, even some burrowing animals like rats their main habitat belong to the soil number 4 very important it provides nutrients to plants and animals we know that the soil is a mixture of different minerals rock air water and different nutrients that's why it can easily provide nutrients to the plants as well as animals by converting dead organic matter to various nutrients so the main nutrients which are present in soil are nitrogen phosphorus and potassium together we call it npk these are main nutrients except that some other nutrients like magnesium sulfur etc are also present in the soil which help the growth of different plants as well very much essential for animal body next next we are going to learn today soil profile what is the meaning of soil profile actually the soil made up of different layers or horizon so this layer or horizon of soil is known as soil profile so if we take one cut out of soil layer there we can see some clear layer of the soil so let's see what are those soil layer number 1 layer that is o horizon it is the top most layer of the soil and as we know that mainly plants and animals live on this layer that's why this layer mainly consists of humus this is also known as humus layer this is the topmost layer number 2 layer is the a horizon it is the top part of the soil as this layer also very much rich in organic matter that's why the color of the soil is dark and this layer 
please follow the line the layer is also known as the zone of leaching now what does it mean leaching due to heavy rainfall when the elements from o layer starts to come downwards this process is known as leaching of soil follow this diagram here you can see that from the upper layer that means the o layer this one is the o layer from the o layer all kind of materials are coming downwards due to the rainfall that is called leaching and this process of leaching also known as alluviation this process of leaching also known as alluviation after coming down of this all materials where does they accumulate they accumulate in the b layer this layer so this layer is known as zone of accumulation and the process of this accumulation or deposition of all kind of particles or elements is known as alluviation so here you can see that the b layer the zone of b layer this portion is known as the zone of accumulation or the process known as alluviation so the b layer it is the subsoil also called zone of accumulation and this layer may contain soluble minerals such as calcite the next layer or the last layer is the sea horizon this one which is made up of weathered bedrock and the bedrock lies below the soil profile as it is the last layer and this layer also made up of parent materials so all the parent rock of a soil are accumulated in the last layer of the soil so hope you understand this portion that what is soil profile the soil is made up of different layers or horizon so this layers or horizon of soil is known as soil profile next in india we know that there are different kinds of landform the climates are also differ from one another so india has varied relief features landforms climatic realms vegetation etc so on the basis of that in india mainly we can see six kind of soil which are those six kind of soil number 1 forest or mountainous soil number 2 alluvial soil number 3 red soil next black soil next laterite soil and at last we can see the arid kind of soil so these are the main six kind of soil that we can see in india in next videos we will discuss about different types of soil in india so thank you students today up to this much bye bye